DS software library for modeling and simulation of solar desalination systems. www.redslibrary.com Hi everybody, I'm Muhammad Shah with you. Uh, today we are going to talk about the uh, Satellite Solar Tower uh, Simulate Model, what is the main concept, and uh, how can we run our model. Uh, first of all, uh, as I put it, the simplest uh, solar tower is a technology that uh, our system uh, can be used to, to the, in order to generate a massive solar thermal power by using uh, the reflection from uh, the mirrors or lenses uh, concentrated uh, uh, on a large uh, uh, landscape area. Uh, it can tra uh, transfer uh, or reflect uh, sunlight uh, into a, a small uh, area. Therefore, its uh, concentration ratio is high, more than, more than 1000. As you can see here, uh, this is a uh, concentrated solar tower field. This is a tower, this is a tower, this is the area behind the tower, and this is the area uh, facing the tower. Uh, the concept is simple. Uh, it, it looks like uh, a massive concentrated solar dish, but it's a uh, uh, grounded uh, solar dish. Uh, it, it simply consists of uh, rotating mirrors for sunlight reflection, a uh, tower in order to hold the uh, center receiver, uh, which is holding a uh, uh, working fluid. Okay. Uh, working fluids usually are uh, molten salt for steam rocket cycle applications up to more than 500 degrees Celsius. Water direct, uh, uh, water steam direct river generation for steam rocket cycle. And we have here or helium for gas turbine cycle or combined uh, gas turbine cycle uh, at the same time. There is some application. Uh, as you can see here, this is for direct viewer generation. Water steam is going to the center receiver, and we have here listed for sunlight reflection. Uh, temperature here is the receiver more than uh, 500 degrees Celsius. Uh, wall temperature to the ambient is uh, 440 40 degrees Celsius, 450 degrees Celsius, and steam is going to be to preheated uh, and. Uh, goes to the steam drum in order to drive the turbine and generator and so on. And it's a full stack. As you can see, for if you are going to use also steam, water steam or mortis, so we have uh, uh, hot storage, cold storage. And this is a very interesting site because it's, uh, it can be operated up to 560 degrees Celsius because it's, um, but uh, it's limitation for the cold storage. We have to keep a cold storage uh, at minimum levels uh, for uh, in order to prevent the motor soap from, from freezing. Uh, and the same cycle, we have intermediate unit exchanger with gas, with steam turbine cycle, condenser, cooling tower if you can, or process heat. For gas turbine cycle, this is combined, combined uh, cycle as you can see. We have here gas turbine cycle, this air, air receiver, central receiver. Uh, it's the same idea, but we are going to use air compression. Uh, this compressed air go to uh, the receiver, the focal, uh, focal uh, receiver. Uh, focal receiver is going to act as a, as a combustion chamber. And then uh, the, the heated gases is going to drive uh, the, the, the high, high pressure turbine in order to and the exhaust is going is responsible for driving the, the steam rocket right circular. Okay. For completely gas turbine circuit, we, we can use high pressure turbine for uh, for for power uh, power uh, uh, compression. And in order to, to power on uh, the compressor, this, this power is, is, is one shot. Okay. And the same cycle we can use here. Uh, the exhaust from high pressure turbine is responsible for lower pressure turbine and you can use exhaust here for, uh, 
for for any position, we can use this, use it for dissemination or this. Okay. Let's go and see how can we run our model because we are going to discover design field, some cost analysis, uh, energy streams, and some uh, performance analysis. Okay, uh, go to your destination folder, okay, and double click in here. This is our model, let's see here. Constructed the tower. Tower is multiple. It just as the tower, it is not the whole plan. We can double click in here and we can see you can assign uh, some inputs, ambient temperature, solar radiation, LED receiver temperature, outlet receiver. Uh, temperature and our output. So if we are going to attach this to the plant, this is not not uh, going to act as an input. Uh, it will be calculated. Absorb cavity efficiency, uh, mass flow rate. Uh, you can choose which generation of uh, of mirror we are going to use. Suppose I'm going for fourth generation. Okay, you can use the, the, the mirror cost. Okay. okay. Let's go and run our model. As you can see here, we are going to discover the following. Let's uh, hit run and make some changes. Okay. Suppose I'm going to increase the, the, the solar radiation. It's a fit on. Uh, Sure, you can add a signal generator broker to control all of these inputs at the same time. I'm going for uh, something like 700 watt meter square. Okay. Uh, I'll keep electricity temperature as it is. Uh, I'm going to going for the same for motor salt up to 500, 550. Let's go for 550 and see the effect on uh, 565 as usual okay increasing this up to 290 degrees Celsius okay this is the input okay absorber uh, this is absorber cavity it's, it's quite normal to use uh, 90 percent for this 90 uh, 90 efficiency. It's quite normal for this. Mass flow, increasing mass flow, it will, will increase the uh, uh, sure the, the thermal energy load on uh, on the solar center receiver. As you can see here, I'm going for uh, 500 kilowatt per second. Okay. Let's stop and see, see our results. Okay, this receiver cavity temperature is 591. Output pressure for the water salt. Output enthalpy. Uh, this is collected thermal power. So, central receiver center power. Okay, reversibility, exergy efficiency. Uh, Total electric energy from the sun. We have uh, field efficiency, uh, reflectors total area, uh, uh, convection heat loss, uh, radiation heat losses, massive radiation losses, total heat losses, and we can see here um, this is field diameter. This is field diameter. Uh, distance behind the field and uh, distance at the front of the, of the field okay. and we have here this is cavity height to the cavity, to cavity height and cavity height uh, okay. this this is the cavity height and cavity diameter the cavity height and cavity diameter uh, we are going to use this one 150 um, mil area. Okay, and we can discover transportation cost. 
الزوبر كوليكتيف اي الزوبر كوت لاند تو توتال لاند اي مير كوست نمبر اوف هيلو ستيت 3000 وير جوين تو يوز 3000 اوف ذيس ذيس مورد 3000 اند كان سي اور ايفكت اون ذا فيجرز Let's go here. Okay, and see the effect of on our silver area. The silver uh, cavity temperature. Uh, total uh, absorb. Total reflectors area. This is um, complexion uh, losses and radiation losses. Okay, complexion radiation and thermal power. Okay. This outlet and something related to the increasing of the temperature. Okay, and we have here uh, uh, total in the area, uh, tower height, this tower height up to 120 something like this, around this. Uh, tower cost. Okay. Um, I'm sure you can go to to work space and collect your uh, 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 Okay. Don't forget to download our um, CST concept solar tower uh, for uh, gas turbine to brain cycle. Uh, Assesses month stress desalination for the necessary uh, month. We have this gas turbine cycle powered by solar CST and we can attach uh, uh, the exhaust from uh, the exhaust stream from uh, low, low pressure turbine for the brain heater of um, the max station as desalination. It's quite interesting uh, model. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Let's leave it.